Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor, Mechanical Engineering and Coordinator Teaching Learning Center, Air College of Engineering, Trichy. So, I welcome you to this video lecture. The topic for this lecture is 3M as a teaching tool. So, we are talking on the pedagogy of uh, teaching. So, this is one technique, 3M as a teaching tool. So, what are the 3M? There are three kinds of work, mapping, making and meshing. So, what does it mean and how we are going to apply the mapping, making and meshing in our uh, teaching and learning, teaching learning process. And if we practice mapping, making and meshing, we identify four different types of people in what proportion what intensity they are using mapping making and meshing there are four types of people developer driver drifter and dreamer so what is mapping what does it mean mapping is simple and straightforward it is a planning it is planning plotting your objective and setting priorities so you have to prepare your plan for any work and based on your plan you have to write your objectives and setting priorities it is work before the work so we have to plan work before the work that helps you to ensure you you are spending your focus time energy on the right places on right work so the plan will help you to focus to Spend your time, energy, everything at the right place and right work. Mapping is also done in collaboration with others. You can take the help of your family members. You can take the help of your friends and the colleagues for your mapping, your planning of your activity. When you fail to map, so when there is no planning, we are not planning, it is easy to lose your focus and quickly get off, get off your work get off the course of work so there will be distraction and uh, obviously you will you will lose your focus on your job next is making it is very simple you can understand making is doing so doing the work it is creating value of any kind including executing the task making the sales calls designing designing writing engaging with your direct reports and uh, tackling your objective. So, any kind of work, any kind of work is what making. It is easy to gravitate towards making at the expense of other two work. Somebody may completely focus on the work because you are able to, to point at some time or something and say that I did that. So, you have to get the feeling and you have to uh, get the feeling that I did the work. So, making, making is the practical of the three kinds of work. It is also area where it is easiest to get the distracted. So, you must have some guiding principle to help you to stay aligned on the task. So, you have to have some principle, guiding principle in your life so that you stay aligned with your task or the work. And uh, meshing. So, meshing is often overlooked because it is rarely tied directly to the result. It is the most important determinant of long-term success of any person or any work and getting the best work out of yourself and your team. Meshing involves work between the work. So, mapping work before the work, making work, it is working. And the meshing is work between the work that actually makes you to more effective. It is acquiring and developing new skills, reinforcing or enhancing your knowledge, cultivating your curiosity or generating a better understanding of the context of your work. So, updating your knowledge, getting knowledge on the newer uh, technique and the tools that will, that will reinforce your knowledge, that will enhance your knowledge, which will help you. Uh, for your planning that is mapping as well as your making so how effectively you are doing that is that is connected with the what kind of skill you have in your 
work. So shall we use these three M's in the teaching learning process? Yes, first one mapping, work before the work. So what we do in the mapping? So preparing the lecture notes with the details like topic to be covered, learning outcome, content of the topic, assessment questions, that may be short question, descriptive questions and the problem. Planning the session plan, including the pedagogy and the activity to be done in the classroom. So planning for the pedagogy, that is the methodology of presentation, whether you are going to use the chalk and talk or PPT or active participative learning. Planning for the activity for the class, a simple activity, something like quiz, brainstorming, one minute paper, a three minute review. So prepare the assessment questions. So these are all the planning, that is mapping part. So before the commencement of the real uh, classwork or the semester. Then making, I did that. So you do it. Teach in the classroom as per the session plan using the lecture notes. Plan and conduct the activity for better understanding of the content by the student. Improve your oral communication of the student. Improve the oral communication of the student by allowing them to ask questions or making them to answer your questions. Improve the written communication of the students by making them to write something inside the classroom, either in the form of taking notes or in the form of question and answer. You have to make them to write. Check whether the students are able to answer to the assessment questions in the lecture notes. Check whether the students are able to write answer to the short and descriptive questions in the lecture notes. This is what making. And the meshing, work between the work. So improve the subject knowledge and try to get expertise in the subject by referring to various resources. And the latest books are, uh, I mean, uh, maybe the book, uh, book from the experts. Enhance your pedagogical skill. Not only subject knowledge, you have to improve your pedagogical skill. How effectively we have to present the subject so that they will understand the subject. So making them to understand the subject, that should be objective of the any teacher. Design and conduct activity in the classroom to enhance the students' learning. Record the event for the future reference. When you conduct the activity, we have to make a document. So documentation of any uh, event, any activity is mandatory in the present day situation. Discuss the pedagogy with your colleagues. What kind of pedagogy you have used for effective presentation that you can share with your colleague. Improve the understanding on the Bloom's taxonomy and the cognitive process. So these are all meshing. So mapping, meshing, ma mapping, making and meshing. These are all the three works that we have to do in our teaching profession or teaching career. So what are all the four types of people by uh, the work? A developer. So if you look at the uh, uh, vertical, the developer will be using all the three, mapping, making and meshing. If you look at the driver, look at the vertical, they are good at the mapping and the making. They may not be updating their knowledge. So they will be driver. They will effectively work on the supervisor level. Drifter, they are doing and uh, updating the knowledge, but they are not planning properly. The map, mapping is they are not to, doing. So in that case, there is a possibility for, to drift from the work. So at one point of time, they will lose their focus and they will be away from the work. When you have proper plan, when you, have, when you do not have the proper plan and there is a, a possibility to lose your focus. And dreamer, they are, they are missing, they are updating the knowledge, they are planning, but they are not doing. So there are some people always talking about the newer technique, always talking about uh, uh, something new or about the plan. But uh, what they do inside the classroom may be different. They may be poor on executing what they have planned. So these are all the four different types of uh, uh, people the teacher and uh, we have to focus, we have to plan, we have to uh, aim to be a developer in our profession. So all the best, try to be a developer and uh, or develop yourself as a developer. So thank you, we meet again.
in another video lecture until then bye